and uh, okay perfect so guys yesterday like in last uh, three lectures uh, last three four lectures we completed uh, <clears throat> our switching topic um, so it is we covered all the basic stuff and all okay and uh, from basic to advanced level all the l2 l uh, labs completed even l3 switching also we have covered and we have seen some ad advanced lab uh, and yesterday's lab was excellent so as i told whoever complete that lab so i will give you guarantee that that guy understand entire switching because to uh, to do the uh, yesterday's lab which i have performed it required you must aware about the vlan trunk vtp stp all all the stuffs then only you can you can do that so that's one option which um, and i highly recommend all of you to do the labs one by one and uh, yesterday's lab was combination of all the labs all 10 labs so you need to do that lab but do it separately but do the practice otherwise watching the videos it will not help you i'm telling you you need to be hands on with the switches commands and uh, so technologies <clears throat> okay so with that approach uh, let's move on to our topic and that is we have to, uh, oh, sorry we have talk about the routers okay what, what what is the router a router does a routing what is routing forwarding of packet from one network to another network by using its routing table by using the best path from its routing table see very clear switch cam table it store the mac address router routing table it store the route, uh, routes okay so two different network like um, 192.168.10.0 192.168.20.0 two different network you want a communication you need a layer 3 device yesterday we have seen that and layer 3 device means you need a routing there routing table there okay so uh, router is needed so router is available from 800 series to uh, 76000 series and now 95000 series also available so router is um, the difference between router and switch is switch is generally l2 switch where which will have more ports where you can connect all the end points a router it is a layer 3 device it will have a less ports you can see here in the diagram you the router will generally have four ports five ports only or eight ports four ports maximum why because a router the, the generally the switches will connect to the router okay the l2 switches will connect to the router because on the router your end points is not connected on the router your lan will connected to the router one switch to one port to another port you will connect both lans and lan means your switches will be connected to the lan so that's the difference and multi layer switch it is in between router and switches multi layer switch which yesterday we have seen it is a device it is a layer 2 and layer 3 that's why it is called multi layer and it has a capability of switching as well as the routing okay so it uh, it it will uh, switching and routing means it will have a cam table and also it will have a routing table okay it can do uh, all the stuffs so what router uh, routing uh, forwarding of packet from one network to another network choosing the best path from the routing table routing table consists of only the best path so what is the routing table is routing table is something uh, let's say uh, it's like your brain okay so let's think uh, you are standing at the mehdipatnam at psf office and you want to go to malakpet okay so in your brain what are the available options let me tell you how you can uh, choose the path the first thing you can from you can take the asif nagar road right just take a right and from asif nagar road you can go there go there another option from guddi malkapur to you can go from old city and you can uh, karwan you can you can uh, go to the malakpet second option third option you can go till the azizia masjid and from there you can go to the bazar ghat and from there you can go there third option the fourth option is you can directly go to the masab tank from there um nampalli then um, abed skoti and the malakpet so four routes for one destination right so now tell me one thing ubed 
which whenever you want to choose any destination which option you will pick the one which takes less, less time exactly so this is called shortest path your less efforts and you will be reach on time like um, so you 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 will never take something like uh, from outer ring road you cannot go from the outer ring road it will take one hour the same thing the shortest path if you go from directly from mallepalli then directly cross there so it will it will take uh, it will cut down your half of the time so this is what the routing will also do what router will have let's say one source one network it want to reach to another network so it will be having different routes there so routing table it will choose the best path from that routing table and it does the routing there are three types of routing static routing default routing and dynamic routing remember this static default and dynamic routing let's see one more. so network diagram how the network diagram is something like this see why the router is used router used to connect your two branch offices or i can say router used to connect your two lands okay let's say your one office it is in india another office it, it is in usa okay so you need a router at both the offices okay and you can see your india lan is this one 192.168.10.0 this is your india lan 192.168.20.0 this is your usa office lan so all your users will be sitting here all the switching technology will be running in this lan here also switching technology will be running in, in this lan but now the question here is when you want to <clears throat> indian user want to uh, connect with usa user then they need a wan connectivity wide area connectivity so who will provide you the connectivity so isp isp link they will provide you the connectivity okay so isp is will be there so you need to take a wan connectivity in the wan there are various uh, options will come like mpls is one of the technology uh, so we will use that technology so in india isp will provide you the cable here and uh, in usa usa isp will provide you cable here and they connect it to each other so like this your office will connect to here but logically if you see here you will have one interface here one interface here and you need to have one another network connected on this wan link if you look at here 192.168.1.1 is this side ip address and 192.168.1.2 this side ip address so both will be this is called point to point connectivity in between there is a wan connectivity so isps will play a role here but logically when you see it will be like this you you connected with the wan link it means the isp provided you that link but you need ip address here and this ip address here. and this is a private ip address so if you look at here in this diagram there are three networks one network is india network one is a usa lan one is a india lan and third is a wan LAN, wan link network three networks are there and there are some rules remember this one a router every interface of router should have different network you cannot connect same network into one router router will give you error okay so if you look at here india router how many interfaces used here e0 and e1 so india router this net this lan is this network is connected and the even the another interface this network is connected usa router you can see this network is connected and here another network is connected okay so now another default quality of the router what is the default quality of router that is by default listen very carefully by default router store in its routing table all directly connected networks what i said by default router store in it its routing table all directly connected networks now look at this diagram india router how many networks are directly connected here 192.168.10.0 it is directly connected here similarly 192.168 Okay, this one is connected here. And one ninety one sixty eight one dot zero. This is also connected. 
right? So one and two network is directly connected to India router. So in India routing table, when you see here, so there will be two routes will be here, 192.168.10.0 and 192.168.1.1. So this two route will be there. You will see this. Similarly, in the USA router, when you see the routing table of the USA, you will see the LAN of LAN B, I will say LAN B, which is 192.168.10.0 and also this network. So can you tell me which network is common between both, both router? Obviously 192.168.1.0, that network is common for both the network. So now if I ask you another question, which network is not directly connected here to the India? Okay, how many networks here? One, three. two, and three. Three networks are here. One, two, and three. So see, for the routing, if you want to communicate from in, uh, India to USA, then in your routing table, you should have all these three routes. India router should have one, two, three routes. US router should have one, two, three routes. But currently, currently by default, in India router, route one and two is there. In US router, route two and three is there. Now my question is, in India router, which network is missing in India routing table? In India routing table, which network is missing? Bhai Bolo Akram Ubed. Okay. So now if you look at here, network one, two, and three. So to the India router this network is missing. Network three is not in India routing table. Why? It is not directly connected to India router. Similarly, in the USA router, this network is not here. Why? Because it is not directly connected to internet. Router. So this is the default behavior and India router cannot, uh, India LAN cannot talk to uh, USA LAN because there is no routing is available. There is no route is available. That's why the routing technology will come into picture. Okay. So now there are multiple options to add the route. See the, the fundamental here is you need to understand this fundamental. How many networks? Three networks. So in India routing table, we should have this one, two and three network. Then only we can talk to talk to each other. Here also they should have one, two and three, three networks. Then only they can talk to each other. If any route is missing, the communication will not possible. And how to add the third route? How can I get this route in India router? So these are, this is called a routing options. So the first option is a static routing. The static routing is something you need to, um, you add manual route. You need to say that, you need to say in, in India router that IP route, USA LAN, it is, you can go to the USA LAN via this next hop. And in the USA LAN uh, router, you need to say that India LAN is here via next hop, this one. So you need to statically define that. This guy is here, this guy is here. Then only you will see all three routes and then you will understand, uh, You will there will be communication. So static routing, it is configured by administrator mandatory to see as i told to add this there are three types of routing static routing default routing dynamic routing static routing manually you need to set up okay manually you need to go and update the route default routing it is used for the internet and dynamic routing we use the protocols okay so let's go and have a look here so i will show you in the lab, then you can clearly, you can understand this one. So I will go to the packet tracer. So first, what we will do is to start uh, this one. First, we will 
create a basic lab. So that basic lab will have a similar topology, two routers, one switch, two systems in both the side. And then you can save that basic file. And then you can do the static, dynamic, and default routing all in one. So that, and you can understand that. So as I told, at the CCNA level, you need to go with the basic. You should understand the basic concepts. So I'm not saying that you need to go advanced now itself, but you can go into the advanced of the routing switching as we have next path is a CCNP, then you can go for the CCI as well, okay? But the first thing, first uh, for the first initial way, you should have this. So let me confirm as a guest. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take uh, this router, 2911, it has gigaport, Uh, let me take one nine. This one. Let's say okay, it is also having the Giga Ethernet. Mm, that's fine, no problem. So you can take two routers, one router here, one router here. Okay, and you need to take two switches, one switch here, one switch here. Okay. And you can take two machines from each LAN for the testing purpose. Similarly, you can take here. Okay. And you can build this LAN. See here. We no need to create VLANs. We no need to, because we consider this LAN is already there. Okay, because we are learning a routing here. So port 10, let's say port 10, it is connected to my Giga Ethernet zero by zero. By default, router interfaces are shut down mode. Similarly, if I go here, Zero, okay, first interface, then second, and one another LAN. So it's two different network I'm connecting, a router, zero by zero. Okay, so see, this is your India, this is your USA. So let's say, So this is your India land. And let's say, Let's say this is your USLN. See, you no need to go for this design. I'm just for your understanding, I'm using this. Okay. So both are two different geographical locations. So then what you did, generally what we do, we take an ISP connection. So for now, there is no ISP because this is a packet tracer, right? We will not having a, any ISP here, but still we can, See two different similar network means, similar uh, device means cross cable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this zero by zero to, zero by one to zero by one. So I connected here actually, but 
in the real time what will happen there will be it will be something like this so if you put like this so just think that there is a isp is coming behind this so this is actually the van link okay wide area network is there so it's a van so now see your routers are here so this will be your separate lan this will be separate lan okay let's say you can define your lan as well let's say this lan is 192.168.10.0/24 okay so, okay and this lan is 192.168. 20.0/24 see two different networks two different networks two different locations and you want to make a communication between them okay one office to another office you are connecting via mpls service or wan connectivity so this portion you no need to worry about that isp will take care of this they will provide you cable here one they will provide cable here so you need to configure the routers and you need to do the routing okay so let's go with the basic so first i will use um configure the ip addresses let's say 192.168.68.10. Uh, i will set 10 and my gateway i'm using 192 see now we are in the layer 3 so we need to specify the gateway 10.1 so this will be my gateway 10.1 similarly to this machine i will say 192.168.10.11 and 192.168.68.10.1 this is my lan okay both machines i have put here it will be see why i am i'm making this diagram because first i need to show you here then we can configure routing 192.168.20.10 gateway 192.168.20.1 similarly here desktop 192.168.20.11 192.168.20.1 okay so if i go here and first i try to ping ping 192.168.20.10 can i ping to yes i can win because they are into the same lan right but can i ping to USA router uh, India LAN 192.168.10.10. No, never ever. Why? Because that's in another network. So now just remember that or or um, like uh, stuff. So now this is the time to call. See switch. You no need to configure the switch here. Why? Because for this lab, we consider this there is one LAN only, VLAN. So both they are into VLAN one one network. So that's why you know it. So here we need to we are learning um, what is called we are learning here routing, connecting two different networks. How we can connect two different geographical networks? Yesterday we have seen if in the same network, same LAN, we can use a multi-layer switch, or we can use router on a stick. But think about if two LANs are one LAN in USA, one LAN in India. So how you are going to connect that? So that's we are seeing here. So let's say this is I can say India. And this is your USA. USA office. Okay. Now you need to configure the router. So now I will go. See in the router, what you need to do first. This interface downwards. It will be the gateway of this LAN. And here you will have a WAN IP address. Here also WAN IP address. And here it will be a gateway of this LAN. So this is what I'm going to configure. So go to the router. 
go to the CLI. Okay, just say no. And here enable config terminal, give the host name. I will say India RTR. Okay. And now check show IP route. Do you have anything here? No. And if you see show IP interface brief, do you have any? See, by default, all interfaces are in shutdown mode. Okay. So what you need to do, config terminal, interface, giga ethernet, zero by zero. Okay, here just put the IP address, gateway. 192.168.10.1.255.255.255.0. And say no shutdown, that's it. And you can also put the description also. Description is something, it is not a command, it is for our information. So I will say description, I will say India LAN. If someone see this configuration, he will say to this interface, in behind this interface, India LAN is connected. Okay, I just put this one. So if I see do show history, so what I did, see, I just changed the host name. I just tried this one. What I can do, I can copy it. I can put it here somewhere. Okay, now, now what next? Okay, now if you look at the diagram, so see here, this is green now. So from router, you can ping to the machines. Can we ping? Let's see. From the router, ping 192.168.10.10. Can you ping? Yes, see, these lines are means ping. Dot means not ping. So 10.11, can you ping to another machine? So the first step is your LAN. You, you should, your LAN should be reachable from the gateway. So see, so it is happening. So if I see show IP route, see, look at here. C means directly connected. So right now you can see, 192.168.10.0 network directly connected to Giga Ethernet 0 by 0. And if you see, show ARP. Can you see one IP address, its own IP address interface, then 10 and 11. So the MAC address of both the machines you got here. Right? So our this step is done. And if I say show IP interface brief, so you can see this interface is up now. And if I say show interface description, right? if I say show running configuration. So if you go down and you can see here, see, this is the configuration we did. Under the interface, we configure these two lines. Okay, this duplex and all this is a default command. Nothing to do with that. Now we need to configure another interface. Interface Giga Ethernet 0 by 1, which is our van. I will say IP address 192.168.10. So let's say 1.1. 255.255.255.0. One. I will say description. I will say India. When no shut down, done. Do show history. Copy. So now see here in the router, what configuration I have done? Let's have a look here. Let's see. No shut. And here also no shut. 
exit. See. Then I will say config terminal. See, this is the script. This is called a script. So these are the command which I have put in India router. India router. So if you look at here, I'm just pinging in the chat. I'm just pinging in the chat. Just, okay. So this is done. So now for USA router, what I'm going to do, just look at here. I'm just copying it. Okay. I will go to the USA router. Config terminal. I will say here, USA router. Then under this interface, I will say the gateway is 20.1 and it will be my USA LAN and no shutdown. Exit. Then giga is 0 by 1. I will say it will be 1.2 and I will say it is USA WAN. No shutdown. So if I copy it, this configuration. Mama call. Copy, let me ping this in the, to the chat. Let me copy this. Copy. And what I will do? I will go to the USA router. I will go to the USA router. And CLI. The send more. Enable. And just paste. Done. See how simple it is. Guys, one second. Hello. Why is clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. Uh, my kid was in surrounding, so I just changed the room. Okay. So now, if you look at here, my US router is also ready. So how to verify? Show IP interface brief. So you can see my both interfaces are up. So can I ping to my USA LAN machine from USA router? 192.168.0. 20.10. Yes, I can ping. Can I ping to another machine? 11. Yes, in the yes, US. I can, I can ping. Okay, now if you look at here in the diagram, see from this router, I'm able to ping here. I'm able to ping here. Can I able to ping this router interface? Let me see. What is that another router interface? Ping. 
वन डॉट वन ओके वन थिंग आई नीड टू चेंज ओके सो आई पी इंटरफेस दी यस सो सी दिस दिस आई पी एड्रेस इज वन डॉट टू एंड दैट आई पी एड्रेस इज वन डॉट वन सो आई एम एबल टू पिंग सो आई एम एबल टू रीच हियर सो कैन यू प्लीज गो म्यूट समवन इज ओके सो नाउ इफ यू ओके सो इफ यू लुक एट हियर फ्रॉम दिस राउटर यूएसए राउटर आई एम एबल टू रीच टू USA LAN and India WAN. I am reaching here. Similarly, from India router, I am able to reach to India LAN and I can reach to V USA WAN. Why am I able to reach? Because if you look at the show IP route, see this is the default behavior. Show IP route. So you can see here. You can see one nine two one six eight. Just look at the C. Uh, just ignore the L. L is something. Uh, for advanced router, they, it will have some more entry, but always see the C. C means C means you will see here C C C C means connected. In the routing table, C represent the connected. So what is connected to India US router one nine two one sixty eight one dot zero, and one nine two one sixty eight twenty dot zero. You can also filter section C. Okay. See what I did. So IP route pipe. I just use the pipe and section C. It means I want to pick only the C in the entry. So can you see? I see. I, I pick the only. I am able to see these routes only. So these are directly connected. So what I told in the in initial starting by default, this is the router behavior. It will ping. Uh, it will like all the directly connected networks can re, uh, can ping each other. so if similarly if you go to the usa router so always see what are their directly connected network and how you can see the directly connected networks always look at their ip address so ip interface brief so you will see okay this is one network this is one network so if you see show ip route see you are seeing this all records but if you want to see only directly connected then use the pipe section capital c now see here So this is what we have. One nine two one sixty eight one dot zero one nine two one sixty eight ten dot zero. So now my question is, what is missing here? India router. See this machine. It our ultimate goal is this machine. Want uh, India LAN want to talk to USA LAN, but they cannot talk. Why? Because the primary requirement is the this router should know about this LAN. and this router usa router should know about this lan and by default there is no entry that's why we need to do a routing so there are multiple option either you can use the static routing or you can use a default routing or you can use uh, like you can use a, a dynamic routing protocols so see this is my basic diagram my basic diagram is ready so what i'm going to do i'm going to save this diagram so you guys also need to set a save this diagram whenever you you make this so i will say um, routing basic diagram okay and let me save it on the desktop it can be easily accessible okay so this is saved okay now and also before always you know after your basic requirement you can always say w memory means write memory so currently whatever my configuration is it is into the show running configuration we already discuss on this one but there is nothing in the startup configuration what is startup configuration it means start up see there is nothing here because we haven't save anything so what is the drawback here if my router rebooted then my entire configuration will be gone for that you need to do config uh, you need to go you need to always say write memory so now my configuration is saved similarly i will go to this router uh, usa router and i will say write memory so now my routings are saved and i will again go and save this so now my new configuration is been saved okay with the same file now so this is done so now we need to do a routing here 
so what is the routing the first method is see what is the routing adding this route missing route is the routing you can just uh, as simple as so there are three options static routing in the static routing you need to go and manually in india router we need to manually add the usa lan and in the usa lan we need to add manually india route how to do that that is the uh, that is called a static routing so you can say dynamic default and dynamic uh, static so static routing mandatory need to know the destination network id you need to know about the destination network it is secure and fast use for the small organization use this one okay and the administrative distance for static routing is 0 and 1 and at a disadvantage use for a small network everything is manually if any network change you need to change many things in the network so what is the command to add the static route in the routing table the command is very simple ip route you need to say destination 192.168.20.0 and subnet mask and the next hop what is next hop next hop is the next hop, next router interface let's say this traffic when this traffic go out from this router what is the next stop this is the next stop coming and similarly when the usa land they want to go to india so once they cross the usa uh, router what is the next stop this is the next stop right so now this is the our command now we understand the command also so what is our command ip route and we need to add this route in india router we need to say this is a usa usa uh, network and in USA network, you need to say this is India network. And you can add the, the routing. Then what will happen? Once you add it, once you add it, then you can see you know you're manually adding the network route here. See, in this diagram, there are three networks: one network, two network, three net, third network. So in India, you need to say this is the network, and USA, you need to say this is the network. So once you define once all three networks are in india and the usa router then the communication can be happen so this is called a static routing so if i go here in india router in india router if i go here when i say show ip route so see right now only two routes it is showing which is directly connected okay and you don't see 192.168.20.0 here that's why you are unable to ping. Your machines are unable to ping. Even you cannot ping from router also. Just try 192.168.20.1, 20.11. Uh, or 10. No, it cannot. It never ever ping. Why it is not, not able to ping? Because there is no route available there. That is a primary condition that if you want a network reachability, then you should have a route. See, just think about yourself. Okay, just think about if you um, if you go to any new city. Okay, uh, if you go to Mumbai, so do you know where is uh, where is the Juhu Chapati? No. If you don't know, then you cannot reach to that destination. Someone need to tell you that. Okay, go from here to here, here to here. Then only you, so that is statically you need to know that. So, and see if, and uh, in this routing table, show IP route, I can use the pipe. Pipe is used for the shortcut command to filter something. Let's say section and you can say C. So you will see, see these are the directly connected networks. So you need to add here 192.168.20.0. Then only then, communication will be possible similarly if i if i copy this command and if i go to the usa router and if i put this command here oops sorry see i copy paste something else so this is the problem actually so IP route pipe section section 
sixth. See one and one sixty eight. One dot zero and twenty dot zero. So what is the common network in both the router? So this is the common network you can see, which is intermediate, which is nothing but the WAN link, WAN network. Okay, but here you don't see ten dot network here, which you need to add. So what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to India router in config terminal. I will say IP route. IP route question mark destination prefix. So what is the destination? One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot zero. This is USA LAN. Then question mark. What is the subnet mask? Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Question mark. Now again after that it is asking what is a forwarding router address. So forwarding router address is nothing but the next stop. So this network, if they want to go to this network, which is the first interface will come. So when it reach from here, so this is the interface. One ninety two dot one sixty dot one dot two will be the next stop to reach to USA LAN. So I will write here. In the router one. I will write here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two. Done. So now, if I go back and just check the routing, so IP route. Now see here, we got the new entry now. See S. S means what? S means we added a new router here. We added a new new thing here. Which is twenty dot zero, okay. So it is added into the India router, but the same thing in the reverse direction. We need to add India LAN into the US router also. See what we did in India router. We we go into the router and we said there is one destination you need to know. So we just added this network manually. Now we need to go to the US router and inform about this network. So I will go to this network, the US router. And I will say IP route one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot zero two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. And what is the uh, next stop? One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot one. Because one dot one, it is a India WAN IP address. So India LAN can be reachable via India WAN IP address. See, when I enter, hit enter. Now check the routing. Show IP route. Now see, we got a S. S means what? S means you can see here. S S S can be. See, S means static. C means connected. So statically, we added there. So now, if I go back, if I go back to this machine, India LAN. So let me try to ping ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot ten. Yes, from India, I am able to reach to USA machine. Can I check another one? Eleven. Yes, I am able to reach that machine. So after ping, there is one more test you have to do. Tracer. How actually I'm going? One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten. Oh sorry, twenty dot ten. Now look at here. It is giving you direction. First, when okay, what is this machine? This machine is one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot ten. So whenever it need to reach to another VLAN, first it will go to its gateway. What is the gateway of uh, VLAN ten? Uh, our VLAN, India LAN one ninety one sixty ten dot, which is nothing but the router. So first it went to the router. Then in the destination, it said twenty dot two ten. So router know that in its routing table, if someone want to go to one ninety one sixty twenty dot zero, then he, they need to go via this IP address. So router forwarded this IP, this request to this uh, this IP, and from here it it went to. The destination. 
this is how it works. Similarly, if you go from here, from USA land, just take check in the reverse direction. If you say ping 192.168.10.10, can I ping? Yes, I can ping. But how, how I am able to ping this one? 192.168.10.10. So now see here. First, then it, it went to the USA gateway, land gateway. Then it reached to India WAN IP address. Then it went to India land. So how it is the entire game is happening via routing table. So adding the route is the routing. So this routing table is playing around. So if I go and show run. Let's say if I go and remove this route, config terminal, no copy paste. So if I remove this and now try to ping again, I just removed from one side. So let's see what will happen. What it is saying? Destination host unreachable. Destination host unreachable means what? What is happening here? So what is happening? Let me tell you. So if I go trace cert, so you know what? After the first packet, so in I removed the route from India router. So this machine, it is trying to reach here. So first it go to the gateway. And what gateway is saying, I don't have a route to reach here. That's why it is giving the error saying that destination host is unreachable. See what is saying. Destination host unreachable. And it is just reaching till here only. one line to one sixty eight ten dot. It is not going outside. Why? Because there is no route. So see the moment I add the route, let's see what will happen. So the route which I uh, removed, let me go and add that route back. So now see here, go back to this machine. Now see here, the moment I added, see automatically it went to 10.10 .10 and then it reached there. See, now I'm able to ping back again. So see how the routing is important. So what we understand to, to do the routing, you should aware about what other networks are there. So there are three networks, one, one network, two network, three network. So the router should have entry of all the LAN, all the networks. Then only communication is possible. Okay. So how, when we see by the default configuration, we have seen the communication is not happening from India land to US land. Why it is not happening? Because in India router, there is no entry of the US land. And in US router, there is no entry of India land. So we added that manually, saying that IP route, this guy it can be reachable from this IP address. And in US router, we say this guy can be reachable by this IP address. We statically defined and we saw that the IP the both LAN can be pingable now. This is called first type of routing that is static routing, which is very simple and very useful. Any questions here? No, sir. No so, question. So guys, I, I tried my best to make you very simple without any complication. Just, yes. okay. So it, you should be very clear. What is the switching and what is the routing? Okay. So this is, this, this was our first, first uh, routing stuff, which is static routing. Okay, so the command is very simple. Uh, I will share you this command in the chat. Default routing. Default routing protocol is configured for unknown destination. Generally used in the internet where destination are unknown. Configure at the endpoint last preference. Okay, so what is the difference here? So you are a USA, uh, when you are sitting in India and you are network administrator of India machine. India router. Okay. And you, this in the static routing, 
you were aware about the LAN IP address, LAN network of USA. That's why you added this one, 192.168.20.0, IP route, and this, this we added. Similarly, in the USA router was no about this one. So you added that. But what in case you don't know the destination, but you want the communication. So in this case, in this case, what is the default routing? See, I'm just going to remove this route back. No. And I will go here. And I will also remove the default route from or a static route from here. So run. I can see the route here. I will say just copy it, copy, paste. And you can say no. No means it's it gone. So now what, if you look at the routing table again, so IP route, see, there is nothing here. Okay. So now what you can do is, if suppose you don't know the USA land and USA router don't know the India land, but you want the communication, what you can do? In that case, we can use the default route. What is the default route is? The same thing. I will say IP route 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.0, any network, 0 .0 0.0.0.0, any subnet mask. If they want, okay, if anything there, <clears throat> they can be go via Giga Ethernet 0 by 1. Without gateway, if not point of point and device may be impacted performance. That's fine. So now what I did now do show IP route. Now look at here. What I'm seeing here. Star S star S star means what? S star means S star. Where is S star? S, 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 come on. Okay, star. See, candidate default. So, what we did, this is a static route only, but statically defined. So, what we are saying, if apart from this LAN, if you want to go to any network in the world, any side, so we are giving 0.0, .0 route, can we go via this interface? Similarly, I will go here and here also I will define the same config terminal IP route IP route 0 .0 0.0.0.0 any destination 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 any this one uh, the subnet giga ethernet 0 by 1 they can go via 0 by 1 that's it if you look at show IP route so you can see 0, 0, 0 directly connected. So now if with this approach also, if I go here to this machine, if I try to ping, here we go. Can you see, I'm able to achieve this. Even I don't know where, what is the network of USA. In that case, I can use the default route and I can have the communication possible. So default route, it is generally used for the internet. So for the internet, so if you go here, see, generally for the internet, what will happen? This guy, let's say this machine, they want to go to internet google.com so google.com have some public ip address it will go here so router it will send here it will go here so what a router will do it will see this ip address is it in my routing table is i have some manual entry no then it will send directly towards isp which we will have 0, .0, .0, .0 route towards this isp so generally where you can have google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com, many things that are there. So you cannot add those, those IPs in your routing table. 
that's why we defined define 0.0.0 so it will cover everything so default route it is uh, it is used for the internet okay and when we use default route when we don't know the destination and what is the command for the default route any source sorry any destination any ip can be go here so very simple default route what default route is it is saying here it is used for the internet and this is one of the example see if suppose you are sitting in the lan okay and this interface is connected to the internet okay and in the internet some yahoo.com is there so when this machine if they use yahoo.com so first it will go to the gateway and gateway will see the routing table do i have route to yahoo.com no then directly it will send that request to the 0.0.0, .0, which is nothing but pointing towards internet. So on the internet, it is accessible. So like this, you will reach to default route. So default route is very simple. IP route, everything is there. Then next stop, you know, to define. Okay. In this case, okay, default route we had just we just now we have seen. So you understand the default route? Any questions? Guys, no, sir. Yes, sir. Understand. Understanding. Okay. Static route and the default route. So these are the two options available. Now the third option, which is called a dynamic routing. So in the dynamic routing, we use a protocols. See, static route, you need to know all the destination. Okay, default route, when you don't know the destination, you can use that, but default route, it is used generally for the internet. Now what left? Dynamic routing. Dynamic routing, it has three protocols. Okay. These protocols need to be understand. So study of this protocol is called dynamic routing. So this protocol we will see tomorrow. So today, what are you guys, what you need to do is, first you need to create this lab first. Okay, don't put this color and all. It is just for your understanding. I have put this one. Just put the basic lab, do with the two router, same IP addresses you can see. Check the routing table first. Try to reach from here to here and see the missing route. Then add the default route first and then ping to each this labs. Then remove that and then try to you add the default route. After a static route, just add the default route and check the connection. And you should be able to do that. Okay, so tomorrow we will continue with the same, same stuff. So what I'm going to do is the same lab I can use tomorrow also. What I can do, I can just remove this route And also I will go here, I will say on the terminal, I will say no, no, and just write it, write memory, and I will go back here, write memory. Done. So if I go and shut down this lab, no problem. Now I, I got the basic setup again. So tomorrow I will just come, we will talk about the uh, dynamic routing protocols and we will just configure the routing here. How the dynamic protocol works. See, the whole objective is just to add this network here in this network. Just in this router, this network adding. So there are three different options you can add here. You can choose one protocol only. But these are the options you need to understand. So routing is very important. Tomorrow in the first, uh, uh, the same time, we'll continue uh, mostly the online only. Uh, and uh, we'll cover these protocols and we'll talk some, some advanced stuff and we'll finish it. Okay, any questions? No, sir. We have to practice it only.
ऑब्वियसली देर इज नो अल्टरनेट ऑप्शन नो वन कैन हेल्प यू इवन सिस्को भी आके हेल्प नहीं कर सकता आपकी अगर प्रैक्टिस नहीं करेंगे तो ऐसे बहुत सारे वीडियोज अवेलेबल है जस्ट वॉच वॉचिंग दीडियो इज नॉट इट विल नॉट हेल्प यू यस सर श्योर ठीक है या सो प्लीज डू दिस प्रैक्टिस एंड विल कंटिन्यू टूमारो थैंक यू थैंक यू सर